Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We're going to discuss now the problems and application from 1 to 5 of the book of Principles of Economics, chapter 28. Remember, this is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics. So the first question says, in June 2009, at the through of the Great Recession, the Bureau of Labor Statistics announced that of all adults Americans, so we have an amount that they were employed, another they were unemployed, another one were not in the labor force. So use this information to calculate. So first, I recommend you to write it down, the numbers that you have and the information that you have available in order to answer this question. So first we have the number of employed, we have the number of unemployed, and we have the people that they are not in labor force. Okay? So then, the first question is about the adult population. So the adult population is just uh, the, the sum of employed plus unemployed plus not in labor force. So we just gather these three numbers and we, we end up with 235,654,000 people that they belong to the group of adult population. Then labor force. So we already have the employed, we have the unemployed, and we have people in not in labor force. And labor force is composed by employed plus unemployed. So then you just sum up uh, these two numbers and you end up with 154,925,000 people that they belong to the labor force. C the labor force participation rate. So we have already labor force, we have the adult population. So the labor force participation is denoted by labor force in numerator over adult population. And then we have labor force participation, we have this, uh, this value over the adult population. As a result, you have 65 point seventy four poor percent that uh, is the, the the participation so it means like in the potential quantity of people that they they can work we say that people that they belong to the labor force participation is sixty five point seventy four percent and then the unemployment rate so unemployed, we have this one, and labor force, we have this value. So then the unemployment rate is the unemployed over labor force. And then we just uh, divide these two numbers, and we, we end up with 9.51% of unemployment rate. Then, second, explain whether each of the following events increases, decreases, or it has no effect on the unemployment rate and the labor force participation rate. So A, after a long search, John finds a job. So first, the unemployment rate, we have this one, and naturally the unemployed, uh, before John belonged to the unemployed people, and now because he's now out of this group, we say that employed decrease and labor force remain the same, so then the unemployment rate decreases. And then the labor force participation, there is no effect, because the labor force remain the same and adult population too. B. Tyrion, a full-time college student, graduates and is immediately employed. So then, this one just the labor force. Remember, the labor force is unemployed plus employed. And then Tyrion goes to employee, so then it moves the labor force. Unemployed remain exactly the same because he didn't, uh, he wasn't unemployed at, at all. Actually, he found, uh, luckily, a job immediately. So then we have a decrease of unemployment rate. A labor force participation, there was an increase of the labor force in the part of the employed and adult population remained the same and then the labor force increases. C. After an unsuccessful, unsuccessful, unsuccessful job search, Aira gives up looking and retires. So then, this one that employee decreases because Aria doesn't belong anymore to this group and then the labor force will decrease so we can say that it remains uh, the same 
uh, the labor force participation, the labor force decrease, and then uh, we have um, at the end of the day a decrease in the labor force participation. Daenerys quits her job to become a stay-at-home mom. So we assume that she is not interested anymore in looking for a job. So then there is a decrease uh, in the labor force because she doesn't belong anymore to the employee or unemployed. Unemployed remain the same and then we have here an increase in unemployment rate. The labor force participation, labor force decrease, out of population remain the same and then we have a decrease for labor force participation. E. Sansa has a birthday, becomes an adult, but has no interest in working. So here we have uh, there is no effect because she doesn't belong to unemployed, she's not looking for a job, and furthermore, she doesn't belong to labor force because labor force is composed by employed plus unemployed, and she doesn't lie in any group. Um, then, labor force participation, we have adult population, it increases because she became uh, an adult, and labor force doesn't, it remains the same, so we have a decrease in the labor force participation. F. Jaime has a birthday, becomes uh, an adult and starts uh, looking for a job. So then unemployed because she's, he's looking for a job, labor force increases as well, but because we have these two uh, decreases, these annulates in some way, they cancel them out. So we have no effect in the unemployment rate. In the labor force participation, it is um, uh, an increase in the adult population and then the labor force as well, so we say that there is no effect. Then G, Cersei dies while enjoying retirement. Well, uh, then in this case we have no effect because he, uh, uh, he or she, I don't know, uh, suppose he doesn't belong to the unemployed and he doesn't belong to the labor force. In this one, yes, the adult population, because this is over 16, defined by the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I said we have here an increase in the, um, in the labor force participation. Jura dies working long hours at the office. What a shame. So here we have a labor force decrease because she uh, belonged to the labor force. She was employed. and employee doesn't change, so we have here an increase. In regards of the labor force participation, the labor force decreases out of population as well, so there is no effect. Third, go to the website of the Bureau of Labor Statistics. What is the national employment rate right now? Find the unemployment rate for demographic group that best fits a description of you. For example, based on age, sex, and race. Is it higher or lower than the national average? What do you think this is so? So here, this is the unemployment rate uh, for uh, for January 2020, and here is a table uh, where I can f find myself. So, well, I don't know if I'm white. Um, you know, I'm Latin American, so I don't know if I belong to any any part here. Furthermore, I don't live in states. <laughs> However, uh, okay, I would say that it should be like kind of wide. Um, should be like unemployment rate should be four, four percent. But I will be here in this one, in men of twenty years and over, three point nine percent. You know, I'm a little bit uh, over this value. Um, that's kind of it's kind of weird, but uh, we need to have a look deeper what's going on here because uh, maybe uh, there are another group that is making being more and more and more employed and uh, should be verified which should be this group so then for this reason uh, should be should be different okay uh, then between uh, January 2010 and January 2016, U.S. employment increased by 12.1 million workers, but the numbers, the number of unemployed workers, declined by only 7.3 million. How were these numbers consistent with each other? Why might one expect a reduction in the number of people counted as unemployed to be smaller than the increase in the number of people employed? So basically, is what happened. We have the number of employed in 2016, which is exactly the same as the employed in 2010 plus 12.1 million. 
If we move uh, with the unemployed 2016, we have the unemployed uh, 2010 minus 7.3 million. So this is, there is a difference because uh, at the end of the day, the change in the employed between 2010 to 2016 is higher to the change of unemployment reduction from 2010 to 2016. So this is basically because 12.1 is higher than 7.3. Naturally, what we are considering here or what we can infer here is like there were people that they were not in labor force, but they entered and found a job. So it means that they didn't belong to unemployed people. They were actually not in labor force. They graduate and then once they graduated, they go to the market labor and they found a job. So they skip this part of unemployed and they some in deploy people. Okay? Five. Economists use labor market data to evaluate, evaluate how well an economy is using its most valuable resource, its people. Too closely watched as a statistics are the unemployment rate and unemployment population ratio, calculated as the percentage of the adult population that is employed. Explain what happens to each of these uh, in the following scenarios. In your opinion, which statistic is the more meaningful gauge uh, of how well the economy is doing? Well, I would say before going to these points, the natural the employment rate, because the employment uh, population uh, it's kind of weird because we are taking old people over 16 years and we know that there are a lot of people that unfortunately they have uh, disease uh, they are not able to work so they don't they don't they don't make part actually to the mer the, uh, the labor market so but they are they are being uh, taken into account for this uh, for this employment population ratio and then a lot of people that they are retired they are naturally adults but they don't belong to this part so i would say that it would would be more interesting the part of unemployment rate so an auto company goes bankrupt and lays off its workers who immediately start looking for new jobs so that employment rate what what happened then the unemployment, the employed number of people, they increased, the labor force remained the same, so that the unemployment rate increased. Uh, regarding the employment population, we have uh, lower people employed and adult population remained the same. We have at the end of the day a decrease. B. After a successful surge, some of the laid off workers quit uh, looking for new jobs, kind of discourage workers. So we have here a decrease in the labor force because they don't belong anymore to the employed and the unemployed. And then unemployed as well, it decreased, right? Because they, they are not more in this group, they're not looking more for a job, so there is no effect in the employment rate. In this case, for example, it's not like really good. Here, the, the employed people, they remain the same. The adult re population remain the same, so it remained the same. C. Numerous students graduate from college but cannot find work. Uh, okay, it was my case. And then here we have unemployed, a decrease, uh, an increase in unemployed, and then an increase in the labor force because they go to unemployed and they go to the labor force. Labor force is computed as employed plus un unemployed. So here we have the remain the same. The, regarding the employed, uh, it remained the, the, the same because they, they are not in this group. And then adult population, I suppose that they were over 16 after going out from college, so it remained the same. D. Numerous students graduate from college and immediately begin new jobs. So here, because they begin new jobs, we have here that they increase labor force, they go to the employed, and then unemployed remain the same. They didn't or they weren't unemployed. So we have here a decrease in, in, in an unemployment rate. Moving on, and in, in, in employment population, we have here an increased in employed, assuming that they were all over 16, so it remained the same, the adult population, so we have here an increase in employment population. E. Stock market boom induces newly enriched 60-year-old workers to take early retirement. So then, the labor force decreased because a lot of people, they were employed, most of them, I guess, or they were unemployed, but they 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 are now out of the of the labor force, and then we have here an increase uh, in the un unemployment rate. Okay, then 
the employment population we have here decrease and employed and they still they are still adults so we have here that the, it is a decrease in the employment population f advances in healthcare prolong the life of many retired so it means i assuming that that thing the before and after so due to these advances in healthcare so we have here um that a lot of people they are not looking for for jobs so they go to the unemployed people they are now in the labor force and then we have here an increase here you can assume as well now i'm i'm thinking about it that you are now in the labor force as well you can say that so because they are now in the labor force they could be the same but i say that because before they were in the labor force as well Okay, so they were like 60, they are not working anymore, but they are still looking for a job, so they were part of the labor force before. So for this reason, I said that it remains the same, and we have here an increase in unemployment rate. Regarding the employment population, I assume that the employed uh, is not any change, and adult population is not any change, so I would say that is that is exactly the same. But you can say as well that now they are not employed, they are now looking for a job, so this is a decrease and could be a decrease in employment population. You can justify as well in that way. So, okay, I hope it has worth as usual. As usual, this is subtle. This, uh, those are my comments. I can have like maybe wrong, uh, wrong answers. So I'm more than open to hear um, the question or something to add to resolve better these exercises. Thank you so much and see you definitely next video. Bye bye.